Hey Panthers and Panther parents, this is your ELA grade weekly breakdown. I want to quickly go over the necessary assignments that you have to turn in every single week for English, uh, virtually that is. Uh, the first one I'd like to get into is participation. This is the same participation criteria that is across all four subjects in which you can earn three points a day. Uh, the first point you can receive from being present at the live meeting. The second one is for follow, following all virtual learning expectations, including making sure you're not browsing the web during live meetings, that your camera's turned on and you're a nice seated uh, area where you're not distracting. The third point you're going to receive from responding to one question, either in the chat or out loud in the whole group lesson. This question is very clear that I make sure the students are aware that this is the question. Make sure you respond to it in the chat. Now, majority of the time, the students are going to be responding multiple times throughout a lesson in the chat. Uh, this is just to ensure that they respond at least one time to receive that final third point. The next grade I'd like to get into for English are your weekly discussion guides. Um, in unit one, we talked about individual texts and passages, but as we move into unit two and we talk about novel studies, each week we are going to be reading pages in our novels and we will be answering discussion guide questions live in whole class discussion. Now, this is important to know that there, the majority of this, these discussion guides are going to be done as an in-class assignment. So this is to be done whole group. I encourage the students to open up their discussion guides during the whole group lesson, because as we answer these questions, I'm typing on my discussion guide, whereas they can see that. Um, they're also able to come up with some I personal answers and putting those onto their discussion, their discussion guides. The next thing I'd like to talk about is because English has a lot of different components, many different uh, weeks, there will be a little bit of independent work assignments. Um, these include our race graphic organizers when we're writing. Uh, there are some video lesson responses. And the final one I really want to make sure I hit on are personal posters. The personal posters are a independent work assignment. They have at least one every single week. Sometimes they have up to three a week or more. The personal posters I review whole when we're in whole class live ELA time. I also post the meet recording of that whole group session in which I go over the personal poster. The personal poster let assignment on Google Classroom also has a quick, short two minute video going over the personal poster. And finally, the last way that the students can get that answer is by going through their student slides. So those personal posters, I'm really hitting on those because uh, those are a weekly assignment we know, and there's usually multiple of those personal posters every single week. Those are always five points apiece. Um, and this is, these uh, numbers over here are always going to depend on the number of those assignments we had a week. So sometimes we don't have discussion guides on certain days of the week. So we just count those as five points per discussion guide. Um, the next topic I'd like to get into is our weekly quiz. Very similar to what we're doing in math as well is that we are opening up our weekly quiz on Monday and it's going to close on Friday. So we encourage the students during independent time throughout the week, whenever they're feeling confident to take their quiz, to go ahead and take it. Our only stipulation is that it's complete by Friday, um, and Friday is their independent work day. So if they should be completing that during independent work, if they haven't completed it throughout the school week. Um, and the final thing I would like to talk about is small group participation. Uh, each week I will be seeing the student two times a week in English, um, and they are required to come in and be present for their live session. We'll get them two points a day. And responding out loud, which in small group will be very easy. It's just a lot of discussion. Um, and that will receive their other two points, which totals an eight points per week. 